Mr. President, 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 what are your feelings on immigration? Uh, well, the problem, I appreciate that question. The uh, problem with immigration is that immigration is always coming in. I think if we could find a way to send it back outwards, uh, then we'll start to solve the balance of problem. And I'm, I'm trying to do that by making liberals want to leave the country. Uh, but I also believe that uh, no matter who we are uh, or what color we is, I think that we have to respect all Mexican people, whether they're from uh, El Salvador or Cuba or other parts of the world. It's been suggested that you have racist feelings. Do you really hate black people? Uh, sir, I think that's, uh, I think you just asked your own question. Uh, I know that uh, my friend Kanye West said that I, I hated black people after the events of Katrina, but nothing could be furthest from the truth. Uh, I go out of my way at every opportunity to get my picture taken standing next to black people. That ain't hate, that's love. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, will you be bringing the troops home soon? I don't, I don't know who you think you're talking to. Uh, this isn't... Uh, Humpty Stiltskin up here, granting fairy wishes. Uh, I believe we went into Iraq because we had to. We couldn't wait for the threat of a form to come in the shape of a mushroom stool. Uh, so, uh, no, the troops ain't coming back until the war comes back. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, short stack, what's up? Uh, it's been suggested you're seeking to overturn Roe versus Wade. What's your current stance on abortion? Uh, I believe uh, it's a touchy subject, and I don't want to say much uh, except that I believe that uh, abort. Uh, well, it's a t I appreciate that question. It's a it's a touchy subject, but uh, I'll just say this: I believe that life begins at perception. Mr. President, there, Mr. Yes, President. Sir, right there. Mr. President. Mr. President, do you plan to do anything to outlaw gay marriage? I appreciate that. I don't have many uh, thoughts about gay marriage, but I got some good instincts. Uh, I believe that the Constitution is between one man and one woman. I didn't see uh, Broken Back Mountain, but my philosophy is that you hate the sinner, not the sin. Mr. President! Yes, sir. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President! Mr. President, it's recently been put on TMZ that you had sex with Condoleezza Rice. Is that true? Well, listen, I don't... Uh, I know there's a lot of rumors out there that I've been uh, squeezing Condoleezza, but I don't like to talk about my extra maritime affairs. Uh, I think I'd like to uh, put these vicious rumors and lies to, to rest for once and forever. Uh, no comment. Mr. President, Mr. President, Appreciate that. Mr. Yes, Ms. Ma'am. Mr. President, are we ever going to capture Osama bin Laden? Uh, I appreciate that question. I do. Uh, I don't know. Is he out there? Maybe. Uh, you should keep believing and fearing him. Uh, but I don't know if we're ever going to catch him. I hope so. But rest assured, your ma'am, if I catch him, I will find him. Appreciate that. Mr. President. Yes, right Mr. President. Right Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President, who do you support in the upcoming election? Well, I appreciate that question, but I also appreciate that I'm having a fun job here. And uh, tell you the truth, I haven't decided whether or not I'm leaving office. Mr. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Uh, oh, oh, yes, right here. Mr. President, it's been suggested your wiretapping program is unconstitutional. Is that going to continue? Uh, I don't know which wiretap program you're talking about. Mine is all is constitution worthy. Uh, you see, because uh, I haven't uh, read all of the constitution, but the parts I have look pretty good. And uh, you see, the founder fathers had a vision of uh, rights. And if they had a problem with what we're doing, they would have wrote something down. And uh, from what I've read in the Constitution so far, they didn't. You see, because they didn't have wiretaps back then to worry about. They didn't have televisions back in the 1500s or telephones. They didn't have spies back when Benjamin Franklin was president. Uh, all right, Helen, right here. Yes, ma'am. Mr. President, are you ever going to do anything about global warming? Well, Helen, I've said before what I'm going to do about global warming. I'm going to cool things off. And I want to do it the natural way. And that's the way that God planned us to cool off the earth, you see, because we need clouds. The problem with uh, global warming is that the sun is hot. I know this. I'm not stupid. Uh, the sun sits above the earth like a heat lamp, shining hot death down on us. But one thing blocks it out, and that is called the cloud. Uh, and I believe we need to ask our friends in companies 
to help us build clouds like this. You see Exxon there, they have their uh, steam stacks and they have clouds here and the sun's on top but underneath it's shady. And that's because the clouds trap the sun and they put down rays of rain and oil and freedom. So I think part of what we gotta do is uh, make sure we fund the companies that can help us build clouds like Exxon. And we gotta help them by giving them billions of uh, billions. I appreciate all your questions. I, uh, I thank all the concerners for your concerns. I thank you for the criticizers for your questions. If you have any further questions, I suggest you put them in writing or pray for them. God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Mr. President.